Hey there, my name is Allison. Welcome to The Tiny Herd, where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Today, I wanna share my pet care binder with you guys. This is something I use all the time. I use it to stay on top of any vet visits, pet care, pet sitter information, routines, diet information, literally everything that someone would need to know to take care of my animals is in this book. So I'm gonna show you guys this today, show you exactly how I use it, and show you guys how you can set up your own. Okay, so before we jump into looking through my actual pet care notebook, I do wanna tell you guys how you can set this up for yourself. So you can watch this video and take some ideas and just create your own worksheets or grab a notebook, write down the same information if you wanna do it that way, of course. But I also do offer this pet care binder in my Etsy shop, so that will be linked down below. It is $10. I have one specifically for guinea pigs, one specifically for rabbits, and then I have one that is not pet specific, it can be for any pets, which you'll see in mine. So I recently redid this and reset it up so it included all of my pets since we have added the new rats. So I thought it would be a great time to sit down and show it to you guys. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna quit talking and I'm gonna take you and show you my pet care notebook. So let's just dive into this. First, because I know someone's gonna ask, I set this up using a Happy Planner system. So these rings are from the Happy Planner. This cover is actually from a different brand, but it's the same concept. I will link all this stuff down below in case you wanna get the same thing. But I just have everything hole punched using this specific disc bound notebook punch and I keep it in here so you'll see that. But I'll go ahead and open it up so you can see I have a nice cover page here just to have it looking nice. This cover's nice because it has a pocket so I just have some little bunny post-it notes in there. It does have a pen loop which is really handy. So the organization of this, I have it done by section and I am gonna be labeling these, but I just got these to put in here, so I haven't done that yet. But I'll show you guys as we go through how I have this organized. The pet care binder cover page. And then the first page I have in here is emergency info. I haven't filled this page out yet because I wanted to show you guys this and um, obviously didn't wanna put personal information or identifying information in here. But I put this first page pretty much so that pet sitter or literally anybody could find this information really, really easily, especially the emergency vet. So you can see on this page, I have owner cell phone, emergency vet, regular vet, and then if you have an additional contact. So for example, I would put my boyfriend here because if we have a pet sitter, they would need all of our information. So I have the emergency info page. And then next I have my first section divider and this is gonna be general or something to that effect because in this section, this is all the basic information about my pets. So if you download my binder, it comes with like one page in the PDF of each page, if that makes sense. So like there'll be one page, but you can just print out however many you need, which is why it's so nice to do a you know printable binder version. So this has pet name, birthday, gotcha day, because I most of my pets I don't know their actual birthday, but I know what day I got them on. And then breed and their favorite treats and then any notes. So I'll put like where I adopted them or if they have any backstory or health issues. And then I like to put a picture of each pet just so if there was a pet sitter or an emergency you would want to know identifying information about all of your animals. So I have one for each of my pets. And I just have a little bit of information about each one. So I have all six of my guinea pigs on here. And if you got the one specifically for guinea pigs, there would be a little guinea pig right here. I just used the non-specific one to print this out since it was a little faster. Then I do have the bunnies. And then I just added the rats in here, which is why I reset this up. And then um, I do have Snickers, a page for Snickers in here, but obviously I don't have pictures for everyone yet. I still have to get two for these guys. So that's the general information basically. Then I have a page for our daily routine. So this would be good for if like my boyfriend was watching the pets and he needed a refresher. Um, this is not necessarily the page I would use for my pet sitter because this is a kind of vague 
overview of my day. So I have our morning diet. It doesn't say like what kind of pellets or anything like that, but it's just a basic one eighth cup pellets for guinea pigs, how much for bunnies, check hay and water, and then feeding the mouse, um, what their lunchtime snack is, and then what they eat for dinner. So it's not specific. It's just kind of like a overview refresher type page. Then I have pet tasks. So it's broken down by weekly, monthly, and yearly. And this is just nice for my own sake to remember what I need to do on a regular basis. Not that I forget what to do on a weekly basis, but monthly and yearly, it is nice to have that just because sometimes time gets going a little fast. So it's nice to just have an overview. Then I have a more in-depth page for each type of pet on their diet. So you can see I wrote guinea pigs up here at the top. So this page is just my guinea pigs diet. So what hay they have, what type of pellets they have, and where to buy it. So this is kind of where the emergency planning comes into play because my thoughts with this binder were, what if something happens to me? What if I'm out of town? What if my boyfriend can't get a hold of me? Or who knows? Just like worst case scenario, what if something happened to me and he had to take care of the pets? So what kind of pellets do they eat? Where do you buy them? What kind of hay do they eat? Where can you buy it? What type of daily veggies can they have? Which he knows that because he's the one that buys them. But just all of the information that someone would need to know about their diet at a glance if they had to feed the pets and get their food in an emergency situation, that's what goes on this page. So I have one for guinea pigs one for the bunnies, one for the mouse. Then I have a lot more information on the diet for the rats. Um, I do make my own mix. So if something happened to me, my boyfriend would have to figure out how to make the mix. So I do have the percentages broken down and what I generally use for each section, which I am new to owning rats. So this could very well change, but for now, this is what it is. And then this is the same page that has um, what type of different things do they get each day? So dry mix, daily veggies. So you'll see for like the bunnies, for example, it's the same as the guinea pigs. Hay, pellets, veggies, treats, notes. The mouse and the rat has dry mix, daily veggies, treats, notes. So they are a little bit different for different pets. So that is the diet information. And then I have my next divider here and this section is actually for my pet sitter so this is a little bit worded a little bit differently for a pet sitter specific scenario so i have guinea pigs bunnies written at the top very clear who it's for so how much they get um, and then what needs to be done in the morning so make sure everyone is in water and then in the evening this is where it gets different. So I have written here for guinea pigs, they get veggies in the evening, the bags will have dates on them and what cage they're for. And this is because when I have a pet sitter, I pre-bag all of my vegetables, I label them for which guinea pigs they're for, so like which cage and what day they're for if we have multiple days. So let's say I'm gone for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I will have a bag Saturday, I will have a bag for each cage, labeled Saturday. Sunday, I will have a bag, a separate bag for each cage labeled Sunday. You get my point. So this is a refresher for my pet sitter on how that process works, which I always go over it with them anyways. But this is so everyone knows what's going on. Same thing with the mouse and rats, specifically what they get fed, what the pet sitter needs to do. So same thing, how to feed, all of that. So I have that information in there. Then I just have some notes pages here just for the sake of needing to write anything down for the pet sitter. Like if there was any medications or anything they needed to be aware of to keep an eye on, I could write it down here and I just have notes pages handy. Next, I have another divider and this is going to be like grooming or health so behind this one, I have a grooming log. So I have the date, the pet name, what we were doing. So like the reason and then any notes about it. So I have a couple pages of those. And like I said, I just set this new one up to add the new pets. So this is like, I filled some old stuff in, but it's really just empty because I didn't really see the point in writing, rewriting everything down. 
Um, okay, so then we get to vet visits. Same thing. I started to write some of them down, but I just have date, pet name, why they went to the vet, and then any notes about that trip. And then I have a medication tracker, which I don't have anything on that, but this would just be like date, pet name, reason, notes again, but I would use this for like someone was prescribed Baytril, let's say, for this reason, and we gave it for seven days. Like, I'm not going to use this, like, check off each day, but this is kind of how I keep track of what medications different pets have had. And then to go along with the pet or the vet visit page, I have a more in-depth page here about specific vet visits. So you can see this is identified as part of the guinea pig binder because it has a little piggy down here. But the vet visit page is meant to be like a medical record essentially. So you have the date, the pet name, the reason they went, what vet you saw, so the doctor for the visit, then the treatment plan. So what did you guys talk about at the vet? What are you treating for? What is the illness that is the issue? What medications are prescribed? And then any notes. So these are really nice to have because sometimes vet visits come quickly and you need to remember what happened, what medication they were on in the past, all of that good stuff. So I printed out quite a few of these since I do have quite a few pets, even just for wellness checks and that sort of thing. I wanted to have some on hand, but of course you could print as many as you wanted. I have the same exact thing just for the bunnies and I did use the separate pages from um, these come in the guinea pig specific binder I sell and these come in the rabbit specific one and I wanted to just for my own binder keep them separate. So I have some for the bunnies. See that there and then I do have some that have nothing which is what the just general pet care binder has. So that could be for the mouse or the rat. Then I have another divider here, and this gets into my calendar. So my binder does include undated calendars. I put, don't know why I started in April. I think I realized as I was doing this that I didn't need all these past months, but basically I use this to put anything that I need to track or just like dates. So you can see for the July, that doesn't really need to be on here, but um, Callie's gotcha day was in July. So I track things like that. Mike and Andy's gotcha day. Um, if somebody had like ivermectin treatment for mites, I would put that on here because it's like every two weeks. Or if they had follow-up appointments, anything like that, it would go in here. And then I did put the, the um, holidays in here just because if I want to do cage themes or anything, I can kind of plan ahead. So you can see gotcha day, gotcha day, Thanksgiving. So that's kind of what I do with the calendar. You could really use it however you wanted. And then I have the last tab, and this is the main section that I use the most often. Obviously, it's empty right now. I just set this up, but um, these are our weight logs. So when I do health checks every week, I will use this to track everyone's weight and what it increased and decreased, and then kind of keep notes on things just so um, I could tell right off the bat if anybody's gaining or losing weight, since that is a good indicator of illness is if they are losing weight. So I like to have these in here. I just printed one out for each pig and wrote their name up at the top. So I have one for all of the guinea pigs, one for the bunnies, and then I have one for the rats and one for the Snickers mouse. And then in the back here, I just have more notes pages. These are really just for taking any notes during health checks. Like if I notice that somebody needs a bath or a haircut or nails clipped, anything like that, I'll just jot it down here and then I can go back and remember what I needed to do. So that is all that I really have in here. I do have a pocket in the back as well. I like to have this for putting vet stuff in like receipts or documentation when I need it on hand. So let's say I had medication information or after surgery instructions, I put it in here so I have it handy. But then I do have a file folder in the pet room with our medical stuff that has folders in it for each pet. So I have like one folder for guinea pigs, one folder for rabbits, one folder for the rats. Um, and each of those folders, I will put the vet records in for this year. And then after the year, I'll file them away in our filing cabinet if I need them. If I don't, I just throw them away because they're just, you know, usually receipts for medical stuff. Any like medical record stuff, like if we have x-rays or actual doctor's notes or medication information, dosing information, I keep that. 
I keep it all together in a folder and I file it away at the end of the year because I have needed on multiple occasions Mikey's full medical history because of his chronic ear issues. So I keep all that stuff. So you might not need all that, but I like to keep everything. So that's kind of my system. But that is my entire pet care binder. This might have not been super interesting for some of you guys, but this really helps me stay organized and I think it can be a really great help, especially if you have a lot of pets. So let me know if there's anything you think I need to add. Like I said, I have several different versions on my Etsy and I am working on kind of like putting one big comprehensive one together. So if there's any pages you'd like to see, definitely let me know and I can think about adding those or figuring out how they would best work for other people as well and add those into the binder. So. That is the whole binder. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to see a look into my pet care binder and how I stay on top of everything. If you have any suggestions or any questions, anything like that, definitely leave them down below in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget you can pick up this binder in my Etsy shop. It will be linked down below. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.